The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration finds nearly 50% of abused prescription drugs come from family or friends. And that's why low country organizations want you to take your medication safely and use this weekend to dispose of them properly. Our Jenna Maxwell joins us at one drug take back location at Brighton Park Emergency in Somerville. So Jenna, how many people do drug overdoses actually affect? Yeah, Katie Shelby, well, the South Carolina Department of Public Health reported more than 2,000 overdose deaths happened in the state in 2022, with more than half of those tied to prescription drugs. If I knew that one of my patients accidentally overdosed, I'd be thinking, could I have said something? Could I offer them a drug take back? Could I offer them a safety vial, um, a lockbox? You know, it, we, we think of those things. Joe Longo, the specialty pharmacy manager at Dottie's Pharmacy, says many people link drug overdoses to shooting up or fake pills. Instead, he says more often it's taking too many prescription pills, using someone else's or side effects from mixing medication. But what people don't realize is that common drugs, Prozac, Flexeril, Trazodone, these drugs can make other drugs stronger. And and this is where accidental overdose and people do die. Storing and disposing prescriptions safely are crucial in overdose prevention. That could mean pill lock boxes or disposable pouches instead of openly storing medication. It's not good to have these drugs just hanging out from a safety perspective, as well as, you know, we do know that kids will end up trying to go through medicine cabinets depending on their age. Toddlers might do it without realizing it. And as they get older, Having those medications and those drugs available, it just becomes a source of temptation. Tomorrow, Trident Medical Center will have three drive-through drug take-back locations with law enforcement for unused or expired pills. They will take tablets, capsules, ointments, or vape cartridges. Needles, syringes, or liquids are not accepted. The event runs from 10 a.m. to noon tomorrow here in two other locations. It's also the Drug Enforcement Administration's take-back day as well. In Somerville, Tiana Maxwell, I-5 News.